Well, today on Woolly Bees, we're going to be dealing with something that happens every once in a while when you have swarm traps out. You have bees that are, for lack of a better term, too stupid to move into the box. Or, as I like to say, too smart because there's a reason they did not move into the swarm trap. These ladies built, as I'll show you here in a second, on the outside lip of the lid. I build a generic lid that fits two, three, five, six, eight frame boxes. So there's a good lip of about three inches hanging over these seven frame boxes. And they decided to build inside and eventually when we get through, I'll show you probably the reason they did not take the box they built on the outside of the box We'll get to that in a minute, but I'm gonna unwrap the present. Went and picked it up last night. It might be a little mean, so I might have to put my veil on. The only reason I'm trying to salvage these ladies is because I love the feral population. Most people would just shake them off on the new foundation. which this late in the year, it's a small swarm. Let me show you what we're dealing with. I'll spin the box around so you can see me cut it off, but this is exactly what I got to deal with. We've got three virgin combs. As you can see, they've got capped brood. I do not see the queen on the outside. So far they seem nice, be nice bees, but when I go to slicing that comb off, I'm at least going to have my veil on. So I'll spin this box around. So you guys can see exactly what I'm doing as I do it. They'll be going in the hive that's right here. Like I said, I'm going to put my veil on to make sure I don't get eat up. Well, actually, I've got to go do the frames, get the frames ready. So we're going to pause the video, and then I'll come back. And we'll start on this. All right, guys, now that we've already seen the problem we have, I'm going to show you what my attempt at a fix is going to be. Taking just three old frames that's in the process of being cleaned up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and nail, put a couple of nails along the back side of this frame. All the way on each side. Probably do about five or six down each side. I'm going to string fishing line in it from side to side when I cut that comb off that lid I'm gonna let it rest against the bottom bar what I'll have is the frame at an angle with the fishing line on this side I'll lay the comb in it then I'll flip it over and I'll put a couple of strings of fishing line on the back to hold it in place maybe they'll be able to salvage it and we'll be able to keep that comb. If not, it was a valiant try. I've got a couple of drone comb, not drone comb, but drawn out comb still left. And I took and ran through the freezer during the fall and the winter. I'll give them a, a frame of it just so they have something to draw on and she has something to work on in case it fails. It's not that big of a swarm. It's May 21st. So swarm season is basically over with. But what I'll do is I'll take and just like I do when I'm making frames, drive that one in. 
going to be easier, I think, if I do it this way. Well, maybe not. Always, always, this fishing line rig that I've got set up to hold my fishing line always makes a mess when I've got the video going. I can do a hundred frames and it won't make a mess and then I want to do something with the camera on and it comes off the reel. Can't really pull it tight because there's really no way to pull it tight. So you get the idea. <clears throat> I'm going to drive the nails in on the other side, do the other three fr two frames, do the same thing here. And once I lay the comb in it, I had a piece of, well, you'll see. I'll lay the comb in it, do the same thing, and then set it up in the hive and it'll rest against the bottom. And hopefully they'll be able to finish drawing it out. All right, I'm going to finish that, and then we'll start back out at the swarm trap. All right, guys, we're back. Brought one frame of foundation, that, or not foundation, but comb that's already been drawn out. I'm going to put it in the box we're going to put them in. We'll put that video together where I showed you how I make these frames. Went up and videoed that. We'll put that at the end of, well, it'll be before this because I've already done it. I said I'm going to put my veil on because I don't trust these girls because they are off the mountain. So these little girls might be a little cheesy. I don't know. They're, they're a good five miles from any beekeeper that I know of. But so far in my swarm trapping career, most of the bees that are out away from people that manage bees, they're some of the nicest bees you'll find. They don't get pissy, they don't get mean. Now watch these eat me alive and you guys will get to see it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go in and we're going to cut this very first one off. trusty fillet knife and it just falls just like that blooper reel to start with all right so there's no clean on this very nice bees to have been just dropped on their head So the lesson we just learned there was at least in my opinion the lesson I just learned was to have your frame kind of lean there so that it can tip off onto the frame. Then just take a little bit of fishing line. Probably cheese them off a little bit, but oh well. What I'd planned on doing was knocking the girls off of that frame into the box on that other frame that I just laid on the ground because that's going to be the way I used to get the bees off the ground. 
Just put the frame down on the ground. The bees that hit the ground are already crawling up on the frame. Now you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm just running the wire or fishing line around the, the nails. And voila, we're going to try to salvage this comb. It's late in the year as far as swarms go. I'll have to feed them. See what I mean by just laying the frame down there on the ground where they hit. Now we have bees on the frame. Just take them. Shake them off. There's a few more. Does not seem to be a queen. On the ground, so size this one up. Come on, lady, out of there. Like we've only got right, back up there, back up there. Do not see the queen on this one either. So we're going to do the exact same thing. It might. Cheese them off, it might not. And I might come back in a day and they've absconded because of this. But you know what, that'll be all good too. Well guys, sorry about that because I did not think to put my phone in airplane mode and somebody sent me a message. So it stopped the video. But what we've got is I've got that second piece. Right there, already in the fishing line. I've yet to find the queen. So what I'd like to do is just take her and just set her on the frame in there without Taking a chance of damaging her. 
But I guarantee you, she's on the back side of this. I will guarantee that one. Well, let's see what happens. bonus here this is what Les Crowder teaches that something simple as grass to get bees off a comb you could put all kinds of bees up in the air and you'll never get stung because it's natural it's not a bee brush that bee brush does nothing besides make them mad that like working without gloves that is an important piece of information I'd say she's right there. just does not want to play nice. That's what you get into with virgin comb. It's so brittle. And worst case scenario, it hatches out and I get rid of it. Take the lid off and see what we got. Yeah. 
Get it waxed down. Dad, yeah. Well, I don't know where Her Majesty is. But she's not in that little cluster of bees. Oh well. We shall come back in a little while and a couple of days actually and see if she's in there. If they stay. What I'll probably do is steal a frame of brood from a strong hive. Let these girls have, have the and right there she is on the outside of the box. Ladies and gentlemen, there is Her Majesty. So, now we know we have a queen in the box. Now, let's see if we can figure out why they didn't take the box. Couple of black ants, but that shouldn't have been the crux of the reason they didn't take the box. All right, didn't know if it got on the video because just noticed the camera shut off again. But there was a wasp nest hanging off the frame, and that's the reason the bees didn't go inside the box. If there's a wasp nest, the honeybees will not take a box. I don't know if you got to see it. I think it was on there. I think it's still rolling when... And there's the butthole that was in the box. I'm sorry, I hate wasps. Anyway, wasp nest in the box is the reason they didn't take the box. We found the queen. I don't know if it's on the video because it stopped again. But she's in the box. I'm going to find a strong hive today as I work that needs a little relief. 
and bring a frame of brood, cat brood over here to give this little girl a, a jump start because, like I said, I love the feral colonies. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to get a notification every time I put out a video. So I try to make educational videos. And for a new swarm trapper, that's something, a tool that you can use. Have a great day.